Good morning. Can you introduce yourself for the viewers, please? Good morning, Stephen. My name is René Blaschke and I'm the responsible product manager for our industrial IoT portfolio. And what are you showing today? I'm very proud that I can show you today our first cloud application. It is called Asset Performance Monitor and it is based on ABP Ability. ABP Ability is a very strong cloud platform with very strong partners behind there like IBM or Microsoft. And can you explain a little bit of the functionality please? The application is connected to a global fleet of machines. You can easily open the machine states and then you can see how the machine utilized on an ongoing basis. You are also able to see all the conditions from this machine. It seems very easy to use. How easy is it for a customer to implement? It is very easy and very simple. It is an out-of-the-box solution. There is zero engineering or programming effort needed. You can plug and play it. And what sort of customer should be using this? The application is designed for a machine builder. Machine builders are able to create new business models with the application. For example, they have a very fast response to service issues and they can improve their machine because they know how the machine is utilizing on an ongoing basis. René, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stephen. Good afternoon. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Kurt Seidleitner. I'm part of the modeling and simulation team at the headquarters of BNDAO. And what are you showing customers this week? We are showing customers this week digital twins on different layers. Here you see already the visualization layer of a digital twin with our BNDAO scene viewer. However, there's much more for a digital twin that you find in layers below where you have the physical properties of a machine, where you can detect collisions and really get power into your digital twin. And what benefits does adoption of this technology bring to the customer? Customers can use Digital Twin already early in their development process to streamline their development process. They can use just a visualization to show the Digital Twin to their end customers and moreover they can use Digital Twins to do the sizing, to do the dimensioning of their components in the machine design. And what kind of customers are already using this technology? Currently we have many customers here. We have customers in the field of um, metal forming, we have customers in the field of plastics, but also customers in, in packaging for instance. Kurt, thank you very much. Thanks Stephen. Good afternoon, can you introduce yourself for the viewers please? Hello Steven, thank you for having me. My name is Stefan Wiener. I'm from BN Automation. I'm responsible for product management of industrial IoT communication solutions. And what will you be showing the customers visiting this year? We are showcasing uh, communication from sensor to a cloud layer with OPC OA, the interoperability standard in that sense. And especially here, we talk about deterministic machine communication with OPC UA over TSN, we showcase here I.O. nodes and uh, PLC systems. And what sort of customers should be adopting this technology? Customers uh, who will be adopting this technology are OEM machine builders who will be simply able to build better machines with it that are more performant and have security in mind. And uh, the end users then in that sense will lower their TCO while at the same time enable their plant for IoT ability. And can you tell me something about our membership of the OPC Foundation initiative? So there's currently an initiative going on inside the OPC Foundation called OPC OA over uh, TSN. And this is really targeting the deterministic communication inside the machine and all big companies are supporting this initiative, namely ABB, Siemens, Rockwell Automation, and Mitsubishi, and BNR is also part of it. And we are happy to drive this global ecosystem. Stefan, thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen.